Welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So today we're layering textures on the gel plate. Starting off with Payne's Grey. Basically a, a dark opaque colour. What will I use first? This is the bottom of a a toddler's trouser, so it's like corduroy. And we'll just go in different directions with it. Might even put a little bit of a diagonal on. I like that. Right, let's do a different slant. reason I'm persevering a wee bit with this is I want to remove a lot of the paint. I'm just tempted to do one right there in the middle. There we go. Right, I think the paint's drying now because I'm starting to pick up a bit too much. So, let that dry. Probably the most important part of this, it's not so much making the texture, it's actually the drying time. The other thing as well is, so I made this one and what I did was I started with this light yellow colour and then I've used red and then I've put on the, well I've put Payne's Grey at this side and this at that side so you can see there that's a shimmery paint so this side here we can see the different textures we've got the corduroy we've got the squares and we've got this netted look and the colors the yellow has still took on a kind of it's almost like a green hue so because that light yellow was down first, the other paints that have came after it are more dominant and they've, you know, altered it. Whereas this is going to be hard for them to alter the colour, but I'm not unhappy with it. So this side here had the paints grey put on as the last colour on top of the yellow and then the red. And you can see it's almost just obliterated the red. The red is the squares. I made the squares with the red. Whereas the turquoise is sat in them and you can still see the red creating the shapes. So it's quite interesting your colour choices as you're doing the texture. So my point of going over all that was if you don't get a great transfer, you know, a great picture the first time just persevere try a different combination of colors or a different order make sure you're letting it dry in between so we've let it dry and uh, do you know what? i think we'll use the shimmer effect next oh too much paint never mind let me just use that one I'm just using old papers here. I don't I don't really throw any of my papers out that I've worked on. So I've got a few of them here. Just take 
take a wee bit of this back off. Okay, right. I do like the squares, so. Although they are a bit shaky right now, aren't they? <laughs> Nearly got to the end. Got a nice um, picture off. And then I like to do a quick swoosh after because this effect here is because I've done a kind of fast after I've created the 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 squares I've just done a fast move over it so it's gave it a bit of a a movement to it and that's how I've managed to create that effect there. It's got a slightly underwater look. Do you know I have this? I quite like that tone on tone effect that it gave there. Let's just move you a minute. So this is just that shimmery paint. I was picking up what was left in the gel plate, but I'd put it over a sheet like this. So we've got lots of the splodges. So it's almost like it's had a bit of a glaze on top of it. And it's just, I mean, that's a, a lot of different colours. And it's just helped. We've still got the shapes that are made on here. But we've got them in a more consistent colour. Anyway, we shall let this dry. This takes a bit longer because we don't, you know, we've got a bit more of a build up of the paint than we did when we removed most of it with the trousers. So we'll let this dry. Okay, I gave that 10 minutes. Another thing as well, the more layers you put on the gel plate, the longer it takes to dry generally because you're getting the build up. So this time I'm going to use the red. Well, and this time I need to work quite fast. Well, I could put another colour on, but what I would like to do is to pull this with the red now we could use another a similar pattern but i'm going to use this instead this is just furniture packaging The reason you need to work a bit faster is it will take a while to dry, but there's some parts of it that will dry faster and it will interrupt your print. I'm just looking for one that's not got a tear. Got a tear as well. Oh, here's this one. Okay. So, give that five minutes for we peak. Oh, we're looking good. It's actually the areas where the, there was already paint on the paper. Oh, 
I quite like this. Though it has hidden what was on the paper originally. Obviously it's come through in parts, but overall I do think the triangle effect works well with it. Because the square's perfect in the netting. I was hoping for a bit more depth though. Wondering if it's because it's shimmery. We'll try the non-shimmery turquoise blue. I'll quickly lift this. I'll use this side because that side's got a tear. Quite happy with that. It's muted the red. And then the yellow's there, but it's kind of green because of the paint's grey and the red that was on it. So actually, they would work well together, even though the reds are different. Right. Let's start with blue turquoise. A strip of a doormat. There we go. It's a bit grid like, isn't it? Let it dry. Very important. Okay, we're dry now. So this is more opaque than the shimmery turquoise. So I'm hoping that the paint's grey over the top of it will work. We shall see. I'll use this side of it this time. Dave, you like cash brown? Not keen in that design. Let's use something different. Two circular tubes of different sizes. I like the way that I'm not choosing where the little tube ends up.
There we go. Now we'll let that dry. Okay, well that's definitely dry. Oh, good. If we move the gel plate a lot, we could probably crack that a bit, but we're not going to. So up here we've removed more of the paint's grey than we have down here or in the middle. So it'll be interesting to see the effects, oh that's still wet, of the red on that. Maybe working too slow here. We shall try it anyway. Nothing on the back of this one. I was doing some graphite transfers of sketches I'd made. I think this will be an interesting one. It's not been as much as five minutes, but actually it's looking very good. Mostly. trying to work it out so the middle bit we had less of the circles so more of the paint's grey stayed behind but I feel that's made the light turquoise the turquoise blue shine a bit more here do you know what I like about this one I'm not quite sure how I've, how it's happened I like the variation in tones. I think the turquoise blue and the paint's grey have worked together to make darks and lights. And I think the varied pressure on the circles has given some darks and lights as well. It's given it a bit of movement and a bit of depth. I'm really pleased with that. So I'm going to try it with different colours, but that what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to this double tone. This is magenta. This is more of a, this is a bit more opaque. So pressing, obviously, pressing heavier will remove more of the paint. And pressing lighter will remove less. Which I might even do it this way as well and get a bit of a grid effect. I'll press a bit lighter this way. Because I've already removed a lot of it. I'll let that one dry. So, I don't know how well you can see that. 
What I would say is if you're building layers on the gel plate, you need to let it dry because if not, you'll distort the texture when you put on your next layer. Okay, so I'm going to pull it just now. This has actually got, I'm thinking, mm, let's do the black side because we've got a bit of the blue there anyway. I think the black will help give us a bit of dark and light. Hopefully quite subtly, fairly subtly, a bit subtly. I really like it over that blue actually. So do you see the might put the red down. I'm going to do this again, but I'll put the red down first. Right. Where are you, carpet? I have a strip of rug that I use. I'll see it. And then I do like the grid effect just now. So let that one dry. Okay, we're dry now. We'll use the pink. Got these two tubes, and I'm putting the thinner one inside the wider one because then what I can do is I can place a circle, but where the thinner tube lands is a bit more random. Dampen it off. There we go. I have this here. Pretty sure this is water soluble printing ink that's on this. I just have a little bit there. It's torn. interesting to see how this one comes out how much the blue takes part in it okay wonder if it's dried a bit much here I 
light we can still see some of the blue coming through and the scratching that was on the blue can we see the and we can see the grid as well just going to pick this up i have this iridescent green yellow let's give this a shot making a bit of a mess of this oh well I wasn't intending to do a grid but this piece here okay let's have a look just left that for a minute I like the way the lines have took on a metallic look. Yeah. I think the colours have worked well together as well. Turquoise blue. Turquoise blue with a little bit of magenta. some paint grey on top of that. I just have this that let's pull it onto this mm. okay this is interesting So this is the side where the turquoise blue was still a bit wet with the netting. So this, where it was on this side of the gel plate, hasn't really came on here, but it has here. So the turquoise blue must have been drier at this side because it's... It's managed to hold back the Payne's Grey pattern. That is interesting. I like this one. It's, it's got a kind of... As if you're driving past very fast at night time. It's got that kind of vibe to it. I actually think I'd like to add that something like that onto this. Just 
just one layer. I'm just rubbing this off on here. Right. A bit interested to see. A strip short. Okay, let's have a look. I think a lighter of the pen's grey, a lighter coating of it. Anyway, I'm happy because these two have similarities. Let's do Naples yellow and cadmium yellow. This one's more transparent. You know what? They're just this is another. I bought these cheap rugs specially to use for this. Okay. So I'm doing that grid again just by turning it. More like hexagons this one, isn't it? It's fairly transparent this one. But it's really quite transparent, which I like. I bought this bottle a long time ago before I understood the differences between transparent and opaque. Okay, I've got some bubble wrap. I do have a bit there that's a bit blocky but what I've decided to do is I'll do some of the copper and I'll do some of this printer ink that's a mixture of red and black um because I'll do this bit here so I can use the other of it This is water soluble printer ink, it's just the cheap stuff. But I find it reacts to the water once it's dry, so covering it up with acrylic paint makes it a bit more useful. I'm actually quite excited about this one, I think it's going to turn out quite well. Okay. Got quite a nice effect there. I like the way that 
there's a bit less of the Naples yellow opaque paint down here so there's a bit of variation and the light coming through and on top of the copper it's not the most interesting on top of the copper let's be honest it is on top of this though let's do the green again wherever you are This green's quite dried out. Right, I'm going to use the squeaker, squeaky brayer for this because it, it gets a bit lumpy. And I could add some high flow medium to it, but I'm just going to persevere. They look emerald. Wonder if they're too close. They'll be fine. Because this is transparent and that's opaque. Let's do the bubble wrap again. I think I'll just do one layer. I haven't even chosen this. Well, I have this with the printing ink on it. These are some compositions I was making with trace monotypes. This is soft pastel, I think. Okay, that one was ready pretty fast. done with a bit longer actually. Might pull the gel plate from it. That sometimes makes a difference. That's good enough. Let's do the blue on blue. We'll put the paint screen down first. Right, I'm kind of enjoying this bubble wrap right now. Oh, in fact, I've got this with the squares. I do like this. What I might do is go back over it with this side. In a double line effect. I 
I'm going to use this iridescent one over it. Okay, let's dry so. Oh. No point in using this because it'll be similar to what's there. But then that in itself could be interesting. Please ignore my dog. blue one here okay. got some wrinkles in it which I was trying to avoid okay that's been drying for a wee while probably five minutes I do tend to pull them off a bit fast Yeah, I don't think the print... I mean, obviously, if we looked at it from here, cause we wouldn't have that hand shape. I'm just thinking. Let's mix them a bit. Let's do Naples yellow and the Thalo emerald. Right, because that's the opaque paint that's going to be at the top of the picture, I'm actually going to take a bit more of it off. Just by leaving the bubble wrap down longer and pressing a bit harder. And what I may do, I may go on again. The, how that's come out ah. I've done it again I've not waited for it to dry Corduroy. I might put a third colour on this one actually to pull it. I might use that shimmery iridescent blue. Let it dry this time though. Okay, put on our third layer now. Okay. Didn't really grab that right at the start there. Never mind. Got this one. There we go.
Okay. Don't see much of the yellow. Oh, I can see it here. Of course, this side is where it got a bit lost, wasn't it? Because I forgot to wait for it to dry. Okay. So I probably took too much of the yellow off. I think doing the circles twice, the bubble wrap twice, I did like that, but I think I should have pressed less hard. Because I would have liked to have had more of this through here. really like this one. A lot. We've got quite a lot here that we've made today. I love this one. That's the sap green with the shimmery turquoise. And that's the sap green with the emerald green. And that's the Payne's grey with the, oh that's the lime green shimmery one. That's the yellows, a bit boring that one. I do like the effect of that, but maybe on a different print. Love this one. That's all right. I liked how that blue came up. I should really do this other side with it. I feel the black's a bit in your face and the red's lost on it, but here, you get the best of both worlds. That's just there was some left in the gel plate and I pulled it up. Bit messy. Still alright. I've got one here that's one of my ah it's coming up. That one. This one here. It's like an optical illusion, this one. That's the corduroy. This. And this. And these are bits I probably should add a bit more to. Put them over there. See ya. quite like them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye!